when the sun went down and the siren switched on. I think it's just the nonstop adrenaline. St. Louis EMT Liz Smith hit her stride. Surprised myself that I even could do it. She was used to putting her own safety on the line to help others. One of my last ones, I delivered a baby. Then in early 2020, the first cases of COVID-19 showed up. You know, the numbers are just mounting and mounting and mounting. Soon after, Liz got sick. I wasn't breathing right. I couldn't, like, breathe. She was taken to the ER and put on a ventilator. Three days after that, I went into cardiac arrest. I coded three times. They got me back three times. Then they told them there's nothing more they can do for me. Call the family so they can say goodbye. Liz spent the next month in a coma. She wouldn't leave the hospital for another two months. Basically, I just have a bunch of holes in my lungs. Unable to return to work, Liz's mom, Marsha, helped her file for workers' compensation through the city of St. Louis. Liz says her claim was denied. Do I think it's fair? Absolutely not. If someone contracts an illness or is injured at work, it should be covered by workers' compensation. Scott Moore is an attorney and HR consultant for the American Ambulance Association. I have heard of others who have been in situations where they say, you know, we don't know this is work related. Let's be serious. Most EMS people are more likely to be exposed than your average everyday worker. Governor Parson addressed that by signing an emergency rule expanding the state's workers' compensation law while Liz was still in the hospital. The rule assumes that any first responder who has COVID was exposed to the virus while on the job. Businessinsurance.com shows that rule could cover as many as 44,000 first responders in the Show Me State. And it is. Last year, Missouri's Division of Workers' Comp approved $316 million in workers' comp benefit settlements for COVID-19 injuries and fatalities. With the legislation that was allegedly put into place, it should have been real easy, but they turned around and said, no, she just had the flu. It's, it's an extreme slap in the face. We asked the city of St. Louis why her claim was denied. A spokesman told us, quote, there are no records to substantiate this claim at this time. We've also reached out to Governor Parson's office and we're still waiting to hear back. She really needed the health insurance to be able to cover her for the rest of her life. Doctors are evaluating Liz for a lung transplant. She may never be able to return to the job she loves. I guess I've accepted the fact that uh, I'll never like be back on the track, working like on the truck. They've told me I can't have kids at all. I got sick from work. There's no if and buts about it. Like that's what paramedics do. We deal with sick people. Sometimes we get sick. Liz is paying more than $800 a month for her health insurance right now, and that's expected to go up this summer. She is planning on appealing the city's denial. For the I-Team, PJ Randawa, five on your side.